Welcome back to the Urban Farmyard where the city girl goes country. Last week we talked about cat flu. In today's video I'm going to share how we treat it here at the Rescue Centre. Let's go take a look. explained last week it is the middle of winter here in New Zealand and that means that we are also in the middle of cat flu season here at the rescue center. For a beginner's guide to cat flu it's worth jumping back and having a look at last week's video but here today I'm going to share how we treat it. Now for the most part the pharmaceutical supplies I'm going to show you today are only available when prescribed by a vet and it is really important that you take your cat into the vet for a proper diagnosis before starting to treat them. Once they've been to the vet though it's very likely that they will send you home with one of these particular drugs. The drug we use most commonly here is azithromycin which comes in one of these little capsules that's full of a white powder. What we do is we split this down into a correct portion and we dose a small quantity of the powder for each cat. Now azithromycin is a product that you have possibly heard of before. It's a broad spectrum antibiotic which is also prescribed for humans. However, if you have azithromycin at your home and that's been prescribed for humans, Humans, don't start giving it to your cat. It is really important that you get a vet's diagnosis first and are given the proper dosage by a vet before you start giving it to a cat. The reason why we prefer to use this particular product is it's really long acting. In cats you can dose them once a week whereas with most other pharmaceutical options for cat flu you need to dose them once or twice a day. Being able to dose cats only once a week is really important when we are dealing with either a large number of them or we're treating cats that are quite wild. Building a relationship with wildlings is a really important part of the process in getting them adopted and they become a little bit more wary of humans if we handle them too much and force medication into them several times a day. So our personal preference is to use azithromycin, dose them once a week and clear it up that way. Azithromycin is not the drug that's most commonly given to you if you have a cat with cat flu however. The one that they usually prescribe is Vibrovet paste. Now please excuse this particular particular vial it has been eaten by a dog because it tastes really delicious. This is a caramel flavoured paste which is dosed in the mouth and this particular product is given to them twice a day. Now the active ingredient in this is doxycycline which again many of you will be familiar with. Again it's a drug that's used in humans and is also used in much smaller doses in cats. When we're treating cats with cat flu they often have eye infections at the same time which are caused by the infection so we use a topical product to help deal with that. We use either a product called Clawsig which is available from the pharmacy or we use this particular product which is a topical form of acyclovir. Acyclovir is a drug which is also used in humans, there are a lot of human pharmaceuticals that are used with cats and it's the drug that's used to treat the herpes virus in humans. The cat flu virus is in fact the herpes virus, a slightly different form of it but acyclovir which is used in humans is very effective in cats as well. In some cases we have cats who we have had fully vaccinated who still come down with cat flu symptoms. In that case we don't necessarily need to treat them with full on pharmaceuticals and we can treat them more naturally instead. In that case the product we tend to use is lysine which is available from health food stores. It's either available in a tablet or capsule form or you can sometimes get it in powder form as well but we have found that the powder form is a little bit more difficult to track down. So what we do is we either split the capsules open and we dose the powder from there or we grind down these tablets in a mortar and pestle and dose them using that. All of these products are incredibly effective but just remember it is really important to consult your vet before you start treating your cat. I hope that this has been helpful and I'll see you back here tomorrow. <laughs>